Hi there and welcome to Robbie Makes Things. Uh, today I am uh, using some fallen elm trees. Uh, they're actually big branches I should say and uh, I'm making little um, arbors that go over my front and back gate. Now I made one in my front gate a couple of years ago but uh, with all the wind storms and the snow and whatnot uh, it's become very thin so I'll just show you what that looks like because I filled it all in. So you can see we have all these really large um, elm trees and they're all over the street and during the storms they break off branches and uh, so I have a plethora of uh, branches to use up. So this is kind of what I did on my front gate and I don't know if you can see it very well but it's just a little a little arbor and um, I filled it in. I'll show you what it looks like from this side and uh, yeah so it looks like that and now I am going to now that it's nice and thick in there, I am going to go get some more and cut them and make one for my back. So I will be back in a couple minutes when I've picked my branches from up the street and drag, <laughs> drag them into my yard. <laughs> okay, take care. Hi there. So I was able to find a few branches, so I'll just show you here. So I've got a few, a big a big one which will be the main support that I'll bend over and those little ones there will just fill in the gaps of the arch and I am going to put it right here because I think this part is so ugly look at all the, see you see the power lines you see the houses you see that neighbor's ugly fence and if I put it right here I think it's going to fill that in really nice so I'm gonna get started um, I've got my little handsaw and I'm going to start filling in. So I'll pause this because I have no camera person. I'll have to just show you what it looks like when I'm done. I'm not doing weaving or anything. I'm just sort of um, interlacing the branches in between each other and kind of around each other so that when they do dry out, because they're green branches right now, when they dry out, they will stay that way, which is really lovely because elm is a really lovely hardwood and um, yeah, they're quite beautiful. They've got lots of little craggly bits and I think we'll make a, a lovely little arch. So I'll get started on that and get back to you. So I thought I would show you the end product. Had to go in and warm up because it was actually kind of cold out here. So here's what it looks like. So I added the main brace, some craggly bits. Goes up and covers that pole and fills in over to that side. And now when you're looking this way, it's gonna be quite nice with um, a flowering vine over that covering up and filling that all in in the summer. I'm pretty happy and I think that um, it's pretty sturdy as well because once they're weaved in like that or you know interlaced in like that they are pretty strong like if you wiggle it nothing doesn't even move so <laughs> it's good I like it. Thanks for joining me and uh, hope I see you for pine needle basket weaving um, in a few days. Thank you.